Welcome Aquarius. This is your weekly focus for the week of August the 19th. I'm Tilly. This is Tara with Tilly. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Thank you for your support. Let's go right to the cards Aquarius. See what the cards have to say for you. Okay. Underlying energy. Underlying energy for you Aquarius is, look at that, the happily ever after. We are working towards our best life ever. We are setting goals and dreams and desires for ourselves. We could be reinventing ourselves right now. We could be making plans to step into some kind of new opportunity that really brings in this, um, this magic for you, for lack of a better word. It's, it's like, you know, you have a rainbow full of cups. And each of those cups represent different parts of your life that are filled with joy and happiness, beauty. So that is where your focus is this week. That is where you are looking at what needs to change in your life in order to step into your best life ever. Is it a habit? Is it a behavior? Is it the environments you put yourself into? It is the environment and how it appears to you. Is it comfortable? Is it welcoming? Does it bring you peace? Does it get you agitated? And starting to understand the parts of your life that are working against you. Okay. Wow. That's pretty deep for just to start off. Oh, we didn't even, we didn't even meander into that. That was, uh, okay. So the seven of pentacles is your first card. The seven of pentacles is asking you, where is your focus and where does your focus need to be Aquarius? Is it on somebody else's drama? somebody else's agenda or is it on your agenda this week okay we're planting those seeds in the ground and we are thinking of the seeds that we want to plant in the ground the new beginnings the new starts the things that you are fed up with the things that no longer raise you up or bring in value these things are going to be you know it's it's almost like there's this death and rebirth kind of energy i'm feeling here we have uh, the Four of Pentacles as our next card. Almost everybody has gotten the Four of Pentacles, okay? It's become, you know, it's like, oh, I got to talk about this again kind of energy. It's been showing up so much recently. But this tells us that we're holding on to something, um, something that holds us back from the true potential of stepping into our best life ever. So we have our focus, we have our attention where it needs to be. Let's consider that as the possibility here. So this is something, you know, I don't see, even though we're holding on to them, we got a foot on each pentacle there. It doesn't seem like we are looking at the pentacles to make sure they don't move, but rather we're looking inwardly. It's kind of like an inner thought process here. So what prevents you? internally from moving forward in the way you need what needs to be healed what needs to be you know let go of our move past what limitation what anxiety what fear is present what is that put a name on it put a label on it see it because we want to move past this energy, absolutely. We have the Four of Wands, so it could be growing our relationships deeper, stronger. Okay, that is the marriage card, that is the proposal card, although I don't think you're all getting married, this week at least. Um, there could be developments in our relationships. There could be our developments in our relationships with, uh, with, with our bosses, with our coworkers, with the community, with, um, in our, in our relationships though, I, I get this, this, this pull of, And you could be very well holding on to some old baggage from an old relationship and you are bringing it into the new relationship. This is also about celebrating your relationships right now, your closest relationships, spouse, best friend kind of energy, children, parents, and, and just give them a loving embrace and just celebrate the moment that you're together with them this week. And I think that makes so much of a difference for the energy of what you represent as two people coming together now and deepening that bond, growing that bond in some way, some form, um, strengthening the partnership through celebration, through happiness, through joy. Um, and it could be, yes, a spouse or something. It could also be uh, 
you know, you're gaining um, connections with people that actually have a say in how you move forward in a company, perhaps, or, you know, they kind of give the nod of approval or the green light, or they have the ability to hire or place you that really is something wonderful that could open up to you. Even if you're working now, they see your potential for being a lead hand or a boss, or you should really get into health and safety or payroll or whatever it might be that they see in you. Although I get more of a creative energy here. Overriding this energy, this is where we start to really get an understanding, is the temperance card. And the temperance card is a card that has been coming up. And this is about finding the balance of truly. So maybe you've been living your life according to other people's terms, conditions, or maybe you're presently doing that. <coughs> Pardon me. I think, you know, you already have two pentacles on the board, so this could be wealth. This could be the creation of wealth. Temperance is asking you for balance. So, you know, we can't put a hyper focus on the things that we want to create, the seeds that we plant, but we should be consistent in our approach. And and what does the, the happily ever after look like? What does the marriage or the partnership look like? And what does it need to look like? What does it need to feel like in your eyes? And it's not like we're going to be changing a lot of things, but I think this is a recognition of self in some way. And that helps you in some other way going forward that takes you to your happily ever after, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Cradling this energy is the page of pentacles, so it's about dreaming it big. <sighs> so many of you have dreaming, dreaming it big. So what seeds are you planting? Okay, I want you to go back and think about that now. Because what seeds are you planting? Are you growing the dream big enough? Gigantic. Where do you stop growing the dream? I think that is an important clue here to where we need to heal. What stops you in the dream? Okay, sit there. Give yourself about 15 minutes. Okay, there's 24 hours in a day. And we got seven days to do this in, okay? So 15 minutes. Give me 15 minutes of your time, okay? And humor me and leave in the comments how it worked or it didn't work or whatever. But I, I just want you to just really think, you know, and maybe write bullet points down so you stay on task so that your mind doesn't wander to something else because that happens usually within the first 30 seconds. So we're going we're gonna to get a piece of paper and we're going to write down bullet points of the progress, okay, of our dream. We're going to put something out on Facebook. And from that response, you eventually buy a building. So you have a storefront. And then you need to hire somebody. And then a couple of people. And then now you've got a whole team working for you. And now you've outgrown the building. And now you get this massive building. And now you're going to you set up shop in another location. And you start in the same progress, and eventually that becomes a massive building. Third place, fourth place, fifth place. You see yourself, you know, walking into your um, personal jet or getting on a stage with 20,000 people gathered to hear you speak, tell your story, teach something, your wisdom. You're being invited to. Um, you know, what is it, the, the wherever you live, um, you know, it could be the White House if you're from the States, okay, so that kind of, um, you know, you, you're invited for dinner, right, come on over, right, <laughs> what you doing tonight, come on over, kind of energy, um, you're on uh, good terms and what, good friends with all the people that you used to idolize and want to be like, uh, where does it stop? Where does it really stop? And it, you're saying, well, Telly, that's never going to happen. I'm never going to own my own jet or a yacht or a mansion. Or, you know, maybe you start with this little straw house and you build it into, you know, all of a sudden, boom, right? The drawbridge falls down and you enter your castle with the moat, right? How big does the dream get? You know, do you do you start here and then it explodes, right? Let's say you're you're 
you're not physically fit and you see yourself running a marathon or being um, entered into the Olympics as the uh, oldest performer because you didn't start till till now. Okay. So, you know, think of, you know, pushing it outside of the box. And I know I'm wearing this down, but I, I think it's vitally important that you understand where the fear actually steps in, where you say in that, oh, I couldn't do that. I could go to here, but I couldn't go further. I can't see myself doing that. That is where you need to heal. That is where you need to raise that limit or erase that limitation. Start setting some new personal goals, okay? And invite in fun, joy, creativity. I think the higher you raise your vibration, the more success you kind of have with this energy. And yes, talk to other people about your dreams, your goals, your desires. They should be cheering you on. We walk into the week, the star card, making the impossible possible. Yeah, this is a very transformative reading for you, Aquarius, because, and, 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 but it's mellow. The energy is kind of mellow. Like I'm not, you know, usually I'm all, ah, but I'm not, I'm, I'm very calm and collective here. Is it? I'm, 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 so you're very calm and collective this week going forward in understanding that you can make the impossible possible. So maybe you just had an aha moment, an epiphany. And if you have, pay close attention to that because it may be the drive factor in all of this in order for your dreams to come true so that allows you to understand what seeds you want to plant and then there's this blockage there's this limitation which we are going to understand and bring to light by dreaming it and dreaming it big okay and bringing in what really works for balance in your life bringing in your relationships and the happiness and the harmony okay and embracing it all in we leave the week with the Ace of Pentacles and a whole new path of making money. I knew this was a money reading. You have more, you have like four Pentacles on the board here. Okay, I, I don't think I've had one with two Pentacles on the board the, this whole week. But for some reason, there is new money to be had, a new path towards money, a new path towards your happily ever after. Bring in that joy and happiness within the relationship. Have those beautiful talks uh, together. Okay, talk about money, talk about your dreams, talk about your goals, talk about how you're kind of changing who you are because you're going towards your best life ever. You're going to talk about the seeds you plant. You're going to talk about your truest dreams and believe every part of it. Believe every part of it with all your heart. Where you stop believing 100% that you can do that and put a date on it. Okay, if you think you can do it, then when, by when? When will you do it? Okay, get serious with yourself. Be honest with yourself because that's going to open the door. The giant pentacle sitting there, guarded by two angels, that's going to open up your door to prosperity. And yes, a brand new path of prosperity will open up to you. You'll see it. So you, you know, you'll be able to, and it could even be that you attract money because of a relationship that you are presently in. Maybe they loan it to you. Maybe they go in on a business venture with you. Um, maybe they, you know, whatever, whatever the, the, that role is. Okay. It could even be, um, you know, a romantic relationship spouse but in some way i think because that card is right there you you move past this you understand this once you see it you can start to dissolve it okay and it's not like instantly boom it's gone it's going to take work absolutely but you've got this work and career we have the three of pentacles so we know there's no sh shortcuts here another pentacle by the way on the board just saying out loud okay and it's not like the money's going to come in this week but i think well it could but chances are this is the progression towards really creating your best life ever so you even if you're making a lot of money right now or you start to make a lot of money i think it's going to grow from here i don't think it's going to stop i think that um you see the way forward but you know it's one step at a time one brush stroke at a time that you have to put your energy into it you have to put your emotion into it you know your heart your soul into 
this passion, this dream, this desire, where you want to go forward, how you, how you want the money to come in, how you want the prosperity to happen. It's kind of like you get this idea, this knowing, and then it's time to go to work and do your best each and every day. And that's all you can expect of yourself is your best each and every day. If it's five minutes or if it's 15 minutes or if it's eight hours, whatever you give your dream, you know that that was all that you could give it that day. So, I mean, and if, you know, on a, on a lesser scale, um, people are watching you. People are watching what you do. People are taking note of what you're doing at work. They're, so pay attention to those relationships you have in work and growing those relationships at the same time as growing your skill set. Relationships is the chariot. Pull it back. What really matters in that relationship? Are you starting to nitpick? Are you starting to pick out the little things? Are you not letting things go as easily as you used to be able to? Because that happens in a relationship, right? We get a little bit more comfortable with who we are and a little less comfortable with some of the things that they do. So, you know, honest, open communication, absolutely. I think that's important. Um, that, so there could be even some changes coming when it comes to uh, romance, there could be some kind of, um, backwards push. And I, you know, don't, don't, um, take that too much to heart. Like it's a personal thing, even though it's a relationship and it's all about your emotion. Uh, that's a, there's an oxymoron for you. Um, so how do we say this clearly? It's about pulling back so you really see the way forward clearly and distinctly. That there's no illusion, that there's no blind spots, that everything's out on the table um, in a very positive manner. Okay? Because you, you truly are going towards your best life ever. And, and there could be, there could be something from the past, some old baggage that maybe you need to work through in order to really get to the, the I love you's and the I do and can you believe it's been 50 years kind of energy. If you are looking to date, could somebody come in? It really depends on what you consider a part of your world. Do you need, you know... Do you want somebody in your life right now? Is there room and time for somebody in your life right now? I see this as prosperity and work and career, but I also see the, the partnership and the emotion here. So love is a, um, a fickle kind of thing and it has a magic of its own and love can happen at any time. And if there is to be somebody in your life, they will be showing up, obviously, because we stand there with somebody else embracing them. The same couple, right? They're practically wearing the same outfit. I think they changed outfits. They look a little bit better here, actually, okay? They kind of look tailor-made here. They kind of look homemade there. You know, there's the castle way back there. There's the castle now. You know, we, we've, and, and that's by honoring yourself and, and letting go some of some kind of baggage, some kind of, you know, I'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop kind of energy that we can bring into a relationship. And that is from past experience because our first relationship, we don't believe, we don't even know there's shoes that might drop. One more card is the eight of pentacles. So whenever the eight of pentacles and the three of pentacles shows up on the board together, uh, and here they, they connect actually, that is the time of the work you're doing today, what you're giving it today only increases your potential to make so much more as the days go forward. I just need a little sip here. My apologies. Um, yeah, these two cards, it's about the hard work, acting as if everybody's watching you, even if it feels like no one's watching you, putting your best foot forward in all that you do. Um, it creates this, this wealth and upon that wealth or prosperity, I should say prosperity is more of it because this card leads to the actual wealth, right? And it's by once again, honoring you. 
what makes you feel balanced, what makes you feel loved, what makes you feel joy, enthusiasm, passion, anticipation, you know, what motivates you. And I think when you start to scratch that potential, uh, you can't stop. It's a beautiful week, especially when it comes to growing your wealth. Okay, it could be with somebody else, absolutely, or there's somebody that has great influence over um, moving you for helping you move forward in the way you need, not moving you forward, but helping you move forward. You're the one actually moving forward, and it all starts with that little aha moment at the beginning of the week. Until we meet again, or it could have been. It could have been, you know, a couple of days prior. It could have been last week. But it, it is an aha moment. It, is, it was an epiphany that you could step that in that direction if you so chose. And it really does lead you to a lot of beauty going forward. Until we meet again, remember, I do love you.